place inside a center of trade. Um, for example, I talked earlier about Andalusia. As you can see, it's got the money bag. So I can send my two merchants to Andalusia um, to have them start uh, making me some money there, trade money there. Um, so obviously merchants are very important and we're, it's increasing by 3.5. If you hover over it, we can see what's uh, what's increasing. So base value plus two. Uh, we have Andalusia, which is a coastal center of trade, which gives us plus 0.5, and our stability gives us plus one. Um, I believe as we get better stability, um, we can get more um, merchants. If we declare war, however, this will hurt our merchants, and will it'll they'll decrease. It'll, there'll be a negative. But currently, we're making a net net amount of 3.5. Um, merchants a year. Colonists work in the same sense, um, except for different reasons. Because we're Catholic, we get plus one. And again, we have Andalusia, which is a coastal central center of trade, which is uh, plus 0.10, 0.1. Um, colonists right now are not very important. There is a, um, a decision you can do, which, uh, uh, which basically changes the culture permanently. Um, but I'll talk about that later. But really, colonists are most important for when we finally start exploring new places. Um, uh, for the meantime, they're pretty much useless, so we can just have them continue increasing. Um, after that, uh, we have uh, diplomats. Each, like for example, right now, I'm going to go and make a royal marriage with Portugal. Uh, doing this, so you see, very likely, uh, doing this will use up one of my diplomats. So each, so each, uh, so each action costs one diplomat. And of course, diplomats again, they're increased through various different means. Uh, current ruler, because we're Catholic, aristocracy versus plutocracy, and prestige will increase the amount of diplomats we have. So um, you can actually be limited by your diplomacy depending on the, your diplomats. Uh, diplomats are very important. Um, missionaries are important uh, as well. Um, they're, I mean, you use them to, well, obviously, to go and preach and convert uh, provinces to your own religion. Currently, as I showed you guys before, we're all Catholic, yellow, but once we conquer Granada, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to make them... Um, Converts to we're gonna have to send uh, missionaries there. Another thing you can do with missionaries is send them to the papacy and increase our papal influence. So that's another use for missionaries if you're Catholic. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for missionaries. Also, missionaries are used when you want to enact uh, religious policies, which I'll talk about later. Um, uh, so, uh, which we'll talk about later in the national overview. Um, spies. Are also very important. Um, they can be extremely powerful tools, but they can also be sometimes very expensive. Um, so therefore, you won't actually get that many spies that often. Um, currently, our mercantilism versus free trade is giving us plus 0.2. Uh, there's decisions we can also do to increase this, but to basically use a spy, we would have to click on a foreign country, like let's say Algrave. And right here, um, if I did have spies, I'd be able to click on it and send the spy to uh, do some sort of action. When I start the game, we'll get a spy, and I'll show you guys how this works. But um, but that's how you activate it. You have to select a province and then uh, choose it. And each action costs money. So uh, spies can be really useful, but really expensive. Uh, magistrates are kind of... Um, Kind of like your bureaucracy, I suppose you could say. Uh, these are the people that will help you implement decisions, build buildings, um, uh, produce cultural works. Uh, so they're very important, and the, and you want a lot of them, especially once we become much bigger. Um, right now, we can see base value is always going to be increasing, plus 0.3, uh, and then feudal monarchy, the peace um, from sphere of influence, uh, positive stability. Uh, these all help increase uh, magistrates over time. So magistrates are very important. Um, I'll talk more about their use later on. Um, okay, so that's it for all this. 
Uh, this is the date, so it's Friday the 14th, October 1399. I can increase the speed here, decrease it, and when I want to start the game, I just click here. Obviously, you can just use the space bar to start and stop, otherwise. This is the overlay. I always have it open, and as you can see, I have it selected to everything. I could have province, except for provinces, it just says what provinces you have. Um, but for everything else, it's very important. I can see some my centers of trade, so Andalusia and Lisboa. So I have three um, uh, three merchants in Andalusia, which is mine, and two merchants in Lisboa, which is Port which is Portugal's. Uh, you can have a maximum of up to five, and then a sixth, which means you have a monopoly on it, which uh, you can only get at a higher tech uh, group. Uh, we can see our army, so we have uh, Guardia Real, which is over here, and it, oh god. Ejerto de Andalusia, which is over here, and see 8,000, 1,000. Um, and uh, navies, basically. So we can see we have 18 ships, our Armada Real. Uh, 18 ships does not mean 18,000 like it does for uh, troops. 18 just means 18, and I'll talk about the different types of ships later. But we can see them by their icon here, and I can take them out. Um, Finally, for our main interface, uh, these red banners will come and go. These are telling us that we have to do something, that there's something that's pressing, or just reminders. They're basically reminders, I guess you could call them. Um, they're very useful. I mean, you'll always use them. Um, this means we have to change our slider, domestic policies, which I'll talk about later, uh, free advisor slot. Um, we have to hire advisors. And this means disputed succession. I can't actually click on it, but it means uh, where are there disputed successions? If you remember, I talked a bit about personal unions between Denmark, uh, Norway, Sweden, and Lithuania and Poland. So this basically means countries, I could perhaps uh, seize them and make them into a personal union with me. Again, this does not mean I take them over, but it means I can uh, uh, link them to me. And after a certain amount of time, I believe it's 50 years, you can integrate them into your territory, like what I'm going to do with Aragon later on in the game. Um, so prestige, so this all depends on, as you can see, by prestige. Um, so we can see Bohemia's prestige is 20. Our prestige is only 5, so I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, try to claim their throne. While uh, Denmark, I could because I have a higher prestige than them or uh, Hungary, or any of these people here. Um, I, uh, to be in a uh, personal, to actually claim someone's throne though, you need to uh, have uh, a royal uh, marriage with them. With them. Um, and once you have a royal marriage with them, it'll become green, and then you can, uh, and then you can claim their throne. Currently, we don't have any royal marriages. I just sent uh, an offer to Portugal, so we can see them. Are they even on this list? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, no. But um, if they do come on this list, then I can claim their throne. Same what we're going to do with Aragon later on. So that's that. Uh, there are many other red banners, and as they pop up later on, I'll show. Um, to the person who's asking about uh, the mouse cursor, uh, yeah, uh, there is no mouse cursor because uh, it just it's for better quality. If I had the mouse, it would slow down the uh, the speed, the frames per second. Um, yeah, is, I hope that's not a problem to everyone. I'm trying to uh, have it uh, show the tool tips. Um, Okay, so that's that. That's the entire, that's everything here. Um, also, just a little fun thing. You can actually kind of see your towns growing over time. So, for example, Toledo, I can see it's a small town right now, but Badajoz, which has much smaller population than me, we said 4,000, has a much smaller town. Over time, these towns will increase and get bigger and bigger. And also, it depends on culture groups. It's something I like. And also, you can see on the map, uh, centers of trade like this, uh, the harbor, uh, where there's a harbor, um, and also this Salamanca here means that there's a university, so uh, there's a university here. 
there's there's also little different signs which I'll uh, talk about later on. Um, but obviously, the flag means which allegiance the territory has allegiance to which country. Okay, so that's that. Let's begin with national overview, which is uh, very important. For national overview, we have uh, several different tabs, uh, court, economy, military, religion, government, all the way to missions and decisions. So let's start with uh, overview. Um, this is basically, as it says, an overview of our entire nation. So Castile is a feudal monarchy. Uh, our primary culture group is Castilian, Castilian um, and our Castilian is in the Iberian group. If you remember, I showed you guys the uh, the culture map mode. Um, so we're all part of the Iberian, which means that the same culture group is Catalan, Galician, Andalusian, Portuguese, and Maltese. Uh, but we also tolerate Andalusian. Um, and later on, if you control uh, like a very large amount of a certain group, you can make them. Um, uh, you can you can tolerate them. For example, let's say I conquered um, if I conquered Navarra, I would be able to put the Basques into a tolerated group after a certain time. Um, so, primary culture group is very important. It's very important that your provinces you own are of your culture. It's okay if they're not, but you will have a lot of disadvantages, and they will the people will despise you, so on and so forth. Uh, this is our king, Enrique the uh, Third, Trans Trans Tamara. We can see that our we have five point nine prestige and everything that it's affecting. Um, uncontested claims uh, is de is decreasing our prestige. If you remember correctly, we have cores. We have cores on Granada and Almeria. So these uncontested claims are decreasing our prestige. So we're gonna have to do something about that, which we are. Um, yeah, and as someone is saying in the chat, uh, you get income penalties and higher revolt risk as well um, for lower prestige. Um, this shows us our religion, uh, which is Catholicism, and down here is modifiers. Right now we don't have any modifiers. As we get some modifiers, I'll show you guys. These are basically things that are currently affecting our entire nation on a macro level. Um, these are usually be national decisions and different things that come up will be listed here. Uh, we have an honorable reputation, basically means infamy, infamy limits. Um, so this is uh, just shows what type of reputation we have with other countries, and this will also affect how well we will with um, how well we'll do with making uh, diplomatic moves of the future. Um, and over here is basically our everything about us. So we have a reconquest, Casus Belli, on Granada. Uh, I'll talk about Casus Belli later. We have a holy war, Casus Belli. We're guaranteeing the independence of the knights, um, the knights of Rhodes, specifically, uh, which is over there. So um, we're uh, the sphere of influence of the knights, so they are in our sphere as well. Uh, we view Aragon, France, Portugal, and England as a natural rival. Uh, thankfully, Europa Universalis 4 is going to greatly expand on this natural rivals uh, thing, but um, it basically shows uh, who you might have. Uh, for example, we we find France to be a natural rival. So if I go to England, um, they feel threatened by France, Burgundy, Golden Horde. So because we both have, we're both feel threatened by France, we have a a slight. They're more likely to accept offer alliance or help us because of that. But, as I can see here, um, yeah, they're not threatened by us, but we're threatened by them. Um, and we have a mission and uh, good relations with Portugal, which I'll talk about later. And this is basically our relations with everyone. So from positive 200 to negative 200. Uh, so at the very top is the, uh, is the papal state. Uh, which we have 150 with, which is good for our uh, curia, uh, for getting making us the next pope, controlling the, uh, the, uh, the papacy. And at the bottom we have Granada, which is obvious because we're going to smash them. Um, so that's that. Uh, so that's the overview. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, 
And one last thing, we have create vassals down here. Right now, Galicia has uh, a core on Galicia right over here, as you can see.